Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Interactive series, Peninsula with the Chief. Uh, you're sat outside Caprica City with me, uh, looking at the newly installed freight station for fuel uh, that we set up last time by train from the coast. Now, this has been a Monty... A Monty? Yeah, Monty. English is not my first language. Uh, this has been a money printing machine, uh, to say the least. I've been able to pay back about 500k at least once or twice a month. Uh, we're down to 24.5 million from the 30 million that we borrowed and the payback and uh, after buying the trains and all that. And I was thinking as I was watching this that um, I'm not real, I'm, I mean, as much as it pretty much is uphill a lot of the way, I'm not real thrilled with this piece of track right here. So what's going to happen is probably going to wait a few more years for to pay back some more cash and then we're going to take it all back out again and we're going to make a little tunnel from like I don't know, probably say like right here at the signal underground to connect up right here. And that'll take away some of the hill that it has to climb over. So uh, why don't you take five seconds to enjoy the intrepid intro and we'll get today's agenda underway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, before we get on with today's agenda, I just wanted to, I was just looking at the towns and realized that Moss Isley is requiring 1,092 fuel. Actually, 1,092 of everything uh, because of its growing capacity uh, and Caprica City right behind it. And I didn't even get a chance to look at Shermer. Uh, Shermer right behind it too, as well. So, and I just wanted to say, look at these, tra look at this traffic jam. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the traffic so jammed before like why <laughs> I don't know why this is happening um, it's got to be because of this bus stop right here but uh, yeah it's I mean and even so look at this like wow like the traffic is just completely piled up in the cities or and most isolated like they are just they're struggling they are struggling to get through the day like if we zoom out oh my goodness like there's just cars everywhere like I've, <laughs> it is quite the traffic jam. I think this is going to be the screenshot. Yep, that's that's going to be it right there. If I can, if I get up here and I close all this stuff out. Yeah, look, like that's like there is a traffic jam. My 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 my. It's very interesting. Uh, so, so that's a screenshot there, and it's probably not going to be the one we use, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Um, turn that back on, turn that off. All right, so what we're going to do today is we just had airports become available, so I think we should probably turn our attention to um, an airport or two. And I was thinking we could possibly... I ain't fitting one out there, that's for sure. I was looking around, and there doesn't really seem to be a great place to put an airport. Um, honestly. <laughs> There's just not really... I mean, we could put... Maybe we could put one there? Let's let's pull them up real quick. It's going to be small, because they just came into service. And it's going to be a couple... It's going to be a little bit... It's going to be a little pricey. Uh, a couple of million, probably, for sure. I just... I haven't been able to find a place to really put one down. Um... Yeah, unable to align the terrain. No surprise there. Uh, what about over here? Yeah, I doubt it's going to happen over here. I mean, it's even less likely to happen over here. So I was thinking, since we have to put one on one of the islands, maybe we do it over here. Can we? No, unable to align the terrain. Terrain. Uh, ten mil. Yeah, ten million. I don't think so, bud. Uh, Four million. Four million could be decent. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, but there's just there's not really anywhere to put them. Like unable to align the terrain, uh, terrain alignment collision, uh, all of those kind of warning messages constantly. It's definitely not going to fit over here in Atlantis, is it? Nope, of course not. Uh, yeah, I'm not, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we could finagle with it, I guess, for a bit, but uh, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Here, let's let's delete all this back real quick smash all of this back we can always put that stuff back in um, we're gonna run on high speed because we need some more cash to come in so we can keep paying back the loan oh I saw it 
Oh, I saw it. it did it. Yep. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. It sure didn't. I thought that it did. Ah, uh, come on, game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 3.51 million for an airport right there. Um, do I want to spend 3.5 million on an airport right there? Could we maybe possibly get it back a little bit? What about like back here? No? You don't want to work back there? You only want to work up here. And that's even more expensive than it was. Now where's the 3.5 one at? Come on. Come on, you. Uh, no, that's 3.6. Now I want it cheaper. Uh, oh wait, that wasn't 3.6. Yes, it was. Can we get it cheaper? Cheaper, 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 cheaper. Can cheaper still? Cheaper still? Don't get greedy. Mustn't be greedy. Cheaper still? Cheaper still? Okay, so 3.54. We can put an airport there. Now, I don't know if that's going to work out in our favor. And we would have to have about 8 million in order to put in the second one. So we might have to wait on that because we're down to, we don't only have, yeah, we're down to not having enough cash. Um, okay, so we're looking at about $500,000 uh, a month now in running costs, probably because of this new train operation in operation over here. This thing has a constant fuel source. Um, I have upgraded the trucks. Okay, yeah, that's going to have to definitely be upgraded because you are definitely slowing down the progress of said things um let's go ahead and just use those replace now yes thank you very much all right you're totally holding holding up the the crude oil facility i have upgraded these trucks to hold a little bit more to haul a little bit more because um yeah the potential is a thousand eight hundred and eighty four and we need to move that very quickly um, I've upgraded a couple of the trucks for Alpha Complex and for Raccoon City. This is just a money printer. Uh, let's go look at the lines. Balance up here. So eastbound is making 2.13. Multi-city fuel, which is the new train, is making 1 million every 7 minutes, or thereof. Uh, the westbound line is making 386,000. It looks like it's full on passengers and probably use an upgrade or another car um, every 3 minutes. And uh, so, yeah, we're starting to make some cash. We're not really losing any money. I mean, we're losing some, but we're making way more than we're losing. And the thing that's costing us the most right now is the crude fuel uh, ferry. And that'll actually start making more money later as, uh, you know, as we get big, better ships that will haul more at a time. And we'll be able to cut down on the amount of ships we actually have, um, you know, floating around in the bay. All right, so this is a constant. That train just left with a full load. How much have you made? Ooh, you made a lot. A lot of money. All right, so you guys need to ship this stuff out faster. Because if you don't, it's going to slow down the... Oh, wait, it's, it is shipping it faster. Okay, now Shermer needs to be upgraded. All of the other ones have been upgraded to these uh, to the bends. So that they can haul more fuel out of here. Because the less fuel that's waiting here, these cities need a lot of fuel. Look. 28%, a thousand, that's ridiculous. I've never seen a city need that much fuel before, or anything. 1,100, Jesus. And Shermer, coming right behind, holding up the tail end. All right, what are you guys, what's your guys' problem? Wait, what, what happened? Oh, I deleted that and I didn't reconnect it. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, well, that's a, that's an easy fix. Just, just do some number like this, and then like that. I'm going to try and kind of follow the, the contour here of where the road was. There we go. It's going to be a little bit off, but it's okay. There we go. Try and just hook it back up. There we go. Cool. It cost a little more than I wanted it to, but that's all right. We're going to pay back another 500k. Coming toward the end of the month, we're going to get hit with the with the, uh, the maintenance cost. It's going to be about 500, about 500 grand, give or take. Yeah, then it's just a little more, just a little bit more than 500 grand, probably actually. Uh, back to a million at the end of December 1920, and we only have 23.5 left on the loan. 23.5 million left to pay back on the loan. Yeah, we're into the bank for some pretty hefty cash, but uh, the the company's worth 30 million. 
and we had, you know, pulled all that out once before. Okay, stop talking, Nexus, and get on with today's thing. Well, it was the airport, and we just don't have enough money, so we're waiting for more money to come in. So, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And see, now we've, and we've increased the, uh, the crude that's coming in. We've increased the amount of fuel that's waiting here at the station for these trains. And he just left, so how much did you make? Not bad. 500 grand already this year. I'm impressed by that. What I want to do is, I mean, you guys already obviously know what I'm going to do. Those of you who are regulars, you know that this is going to end up being bum, 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 a bigger a bigger platform because this is now going to feed the rest of this. Uh, we'll haul we will haul trains and we'll get bigger and better trains on this route eventually. We're going to haul the fuel up this line and drop it off at these cities and the station and other trains that are connected throughout the area will pick up fuel and take them to where they need to go. That's not going to happen for a little while because the terrain up here is a lot more jagged and uh, hilly and dippy than it is down on the coast as far as trying to get this. We're going to have to redo this too as a tunnel. We're going to probably go from here and then just go through and then connect up so that it kind of takes off the drag. But uh, yeah, so that's what the, that's what's on the agenda. But uh, right now we're pretty much just enjoying the views because we don't have any cash. Uh, we do, but we don't have enough. And I want to pay this down to like probably, I don't know, 15 million or something like that uh, before we just uh, attempt to take out any more cash. So how much have you made now? This is a new year, right? Yeah, 264,000. That's not bad considering that the next one's going to give you another. It's going to be about 600k. So uh, pretty good. Do you guys need more stuff? No. Caprica City might need another vehicle. Um, because they've got... And Moss Eisley might need another vehicle, too. And they've got three, don't they? No, they've only got two. Who's got three? Thank you, autosave. Come on, hurry up. No one. Shermer. Yeah, Shermer's got three. Well, why is that one taking so long to upgrade? Oh, he already did. Okay. Shermer's got three because they're further away, and they don't even have as much fuel as the rest of them. It's very interesting. How are you guys doing? You need, you're going to need an upgrade soon, right? Right? Yeah. Probably. Okay, so if we were to say... Oh... Is this this one? What are they? The GW Coach Early 6 said that... Wait a minute. How fast is the engine? The engine goes 30... 81. 81? Oh my god. That's the wrong engine, isn't it? No, that's it. No, that's the jumbo. I need the precedent. This one. He goes 50. Why are we only pulling cars that go 37? Come on now. Why would you do that? You're, you're, you're hurting your own profits. Yeah, probably. Or well, we're going to switch those out. This is gonna. We're going to use the late 4W. We're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Can we replace you? 7.41 million. But I think it will be worth it. So let's go ahead and take the money back out again. Let's pause this. I don't even know if we have that much. Yeah, we do. All right. And we're going to say, yep, yeah, buy it all. There you go. Yep. Buy it out. Buy everything out. Right. All right. That's going to be interesting. But with the money printer train, uh, fuel train, it's going to be all good. Yeah, there's another 355K. I think we're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything is going to be great. All right, so we're carrying 20 more passengers than we were. The speed is mediocre, but the power is great. Uh, it's 612, so, I mean, let's... We'll see. If it tries to go up this hill over here, we're going to find out just how powerful the train is. What's your top speed? It's 50, right? And you're still going up. 27, 28. Okay, so it's taking you a little bit longer... Take, uh, I'm sorry, it's taking a little less time to get up the hill, but you're not losing speed while you're going up. You're actually still gaining. It's just not gaining at the momentum that it would if, say, the power was almost 1,000 horsepower versus the 612, but it's it's still decent, and I think that this is actually going to pay off uh, a lot better than what we just had. And there are just hundreds of passengers waiting to be uh, delivered, like, hey, chum, I need to go to work, and this train is about 45 minutes late. I'd like to have my job when I still get to, when I get there. 
And uh, no, you cannot blame it on the train because, you know, things happen. Mechanical issues are a thing. Ooh, it looks like our running costs are about 700000 now. Now that we upgraded that. It's mighty interesting. I don't know if, I'm not going to pay back anything yet. Not until we get over a million. Um, which is going to be here in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pay back 500 k and then this train's about to come in and deliver, and that'll be another 350k on top of the 634 we've got. 650, I'm sorry. And then the end of the month is going to be about 700,000 again. That'll be interesting, won't it? Yeah, this thing is just a cash machine. Um, it, it's just a printing press. Lots of... Oh, damn, there's 140 fuel waiting for Caprica City. I might have to put another car on there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to. Let's put another car on there. Alright, so we need to, you to go. You the Benz. Need this. And we need you to go to uh, Caprica Fuel. Caprica City Fuel by Road. Alright. I'm going to wait for this to get over a million, and then I'll pay back another, another 500,000. Uh, which should be fairly quickly. There we go. Pay that back, and then we're about 620k, about halfway through June. Yeah, these are these are these trains are starting to start really kicking the kicking the money into into action here. About to have to pay back the uh, the big the the monthly, and we're gonna find out exactly how much it is. I'm um, because uh, I'm gonna slow it down to play, and take it. I'll put it on times one speed. We're gonna find out exactly how much um, it is. To run this stuff. All right, there's play, and we've got 1.08 million, so 1 million 80 thousand. Oh, okay, so it's actually yeah about 500k, a little over 500k, about 580 thousand um, is about what the running costs are. So that's not that's not too bad, especially when we've got a train coming in. How often is he coming in? Let's go up here and look, because he's one of our main money makers. Yeah, he's coming in every seven minutes uh, at normal speed. So um, on three times speed, he's probably coming in every three, every two or three minutes. So uh, that's not bad. And, yeah, it's just it's a, it's just a ca it's just a cash printing machine over here. This this uh, new fuel line, and uh, so yeah. Anyway. I know we didn't really get a whole lot done today, but uh, I got to show you guys a traffic jam and uh, upgrade some uh, passenger trains and get ready for the future for this being um, a, hu a fuel hub kind of thing that's going to expand out with different lines over to like Arkham and Iron Forge and get all those kind of towns filled up with uh, fuel and make us some more cash. And uh, gave you some of the plans that we're going to do about fixing this route right here, about making it not so you know uphill, to no, not so draggy for uh, the trains to be making it. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this one, please leave me a like and a comment. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. The chaos is mightier than the sword on my channel. And uh, yeah, if you're new here and would like to see more of that kind of chaos, then I recommend that you hit the red subscribe button at this time. I've been Nexus, and this has been Transport Fever Peninsula. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.